Hi, everyone. So just wanted to confirm, am I audible? Okay, <clears throat> thank you for confirmation. So, Let's just wait for uh, five minutes. Uh, I just started session earlier so that uh, everybody can join and then we'll be starting. So meanwhile, if you have link of that Excel sheet, which I shared with you. So uh, uh, in this Excel sheet, I just uh, pasted a link. Uh, so till the time everybody joins, uh, you can just go through and uh, lots of uh, folks ask me, like uh, we, we want to have an exercise sheet. So I just created it. So its link is available here in this cell exercise sheet. And if you open this, so it will look like this. So here, whatever we will be discussing uh, day wise, so I'm going to place all the exercise tasks for you so that every day you can follow the questions and uh, you will be able to solve them. So yesterday we discussed lots of things. So I just listed them. So if you missed and uh, or if you have not practiced, so through these points, you can practice. Then whatever we will be discussing basis on that, I just created day two exercise. So daily I will be updating the sheet and uh, you can go through and uh, try and practice. So it will be helpful for the beginner. So those who are new to Salesforce ecosystem and uh, if you are searching for a fresh new content and uh, you want to learn as well as you want to practice. So that is why I just created it. So I hope it will be helpful for you. So you can just provide me feedback in the chat. So I will be just waiting for three, four more minutes so that everybody joins and then we'll be starting the session. <clears throat> So if you if you want uh, the link of that Excel sheet, so I'm just going to share it again. And uh, this uh, all the links are available in each video's description. So if you don't find anything, so just go through the description of the video and uh, uh, you can just uh, explore all the links, uh, Excel sheet, document, exercise sheet, uh, all social media links. Uh, I, I have just created a playlist as well in YouTube where all these videos are listed. So that link is also available. And in the sheet also, you can see I am pasting day by day links. So it will be handy for you. So to do practice. Okay, so now jumping to next slide. So uh, those who still don't know me, so this slide is for them. So every time whenever you take session from any speaker, so you just need to know about the speaker or instructor. So this is me. So have faith in me. I will be running this bootcamp for almost six months so that we can cover everything. And uh, if, if I found some new topics, so I will be including them. And uh, after that, 
as I shared this slide with you just yesterday as well. So these are virtual learning best practices. So uh, you you just need to focus on these points every day, right? So that you remember. So initially sessions are very easy. So um, like I I just want you to make a habit so that you do practice every day. That's why I listed all these points here together. So just go through these points once again. So you need to focus on live sessions. You can take proper notes for future reference because whenever you will be preparing for interview, so those notes will help you. Then you can write down doubts and ask them in Q&A part of the session. So I, I just uh, have split uh, splitted this session into two parts. Initially, I will be explaining everything and then we'll do a question answer session. Then if you miss any session, so first I prefer don't miss. If you still miss, then just watch the recording because all the sessions are connected. Then practice everything. So I just provided a practice sheet as well. So you can do. And uh, uh, like one session is over and maybe any particular time if you are doing practice and you if you see any problems, so just utilize the comment section of YouTube video. So you can paste any question, any doubt that is coming in your mind. So I will try to answer all the questions. And if you see any question that you can answer, so you can go and you can answer for anybody else, right? So let's keep the, com let's use the comment section of YouTube because it is very useful and still your query is not resolved. So you can just reach out uh, to me on LinkedIn. So I will try to help you out and uh, uh, keep doing uh, above uh, one to six points every day so that you can build strong foundation for a successful career in Salesforce ecosystem. So uh, this I hope everybody knows like uh, initial 50, 60 minutes, I will be explaining the topic and doing some demo. And in remaining 30, 40 minutes, we will be uh, doing question answer session. So I will try to answer as many questions as I can. Okay, so this is for my motivation. So I just request you to remember me in your prayer so that I have your blessings and uh, uh, God give me uh, enough strength to, to run this bootcamp for six months because I don't think uh, ever anybody planned uh, such a long bootcamp for helping community. So I need your blessings. Please follow me all the uh, uh, everywhere on all social media platforms so that you don't miss any notification. And please share the word with others as well. And um, in the bottom, you can see I mentioned specific lines. So uh, recently, like in this year, uh, like after COVID, college started and uh, people are like beginners are going to college to learn programming languages. So on my channel, lots of content related to C, C++ and Java is available. So if you know anyone who just started uh, their college, so you can guide them. And uh, like after this bootcamp, I will be hosting boot camps for other languages as well so that I can help college beginners as well because beginning is always important right so now let's jump on to the topic so today's topic is Salesforce data model so uh, I will be explaining you about object field record tab and app in detail right so this is today's agenda so I will be explaining you what these uh, topics are and uh, I will be creating all these in the org right so that you can understand everything in detail so first of all just focus on this data table so database table basically uh, right now I am going to compare Salesforce with Excel so I hope everybody have used Excel to manage data so in initial days you will think like Salesforce is also a data management tool so yeah, it is, but beyond that, it provides lot of, uh, lots of functionality that you can use. So if you focus on this database table, so here a few things are listed. Like this whole table is known as, uh, like in Salesforce, this whole table will be known as object. Then if you, if you see a particular row, like where we have executive assistant, associate degree, human resources, 60,000 and 40,000, this whole row, this whole row will be known as record in Salesforce. If we talk about the heading of particular column, so this will be known as field. And this particular value will uh, is known as data value in uh, Excel. And uh, in Salesforce, uh, it will be known as data value as well, right? So uh, we need to create 
object first then we can create fields and uh, uh, with the help of fields we will be able to create records right so moving forward so in in excel sheet i just prepared one uh, data model that we are going to use so if you go to this second tab of the sheet where all the session details are available so here i already uh, listed some objects like student instructor class and std class so we will be taking help of this information so i will be guiding you how we can create them so before that we need to understand what actually object is so first of all i will be explaining object and tab theoretically and then uh, we'll see how we can create our object in salesforce and a few objects are already available in salesforce so i will explain them as well so if we talk about objects so an object is very similar to a database table in the force.com platform right so whenever you want to create some data so you just need a table and in salesforce that table is basically known as an object so uh, the platform comes with a number of standard objects like account contact case lead opportunity etc so here you need to understand in salesforce there are two types of objects one is standard and one is custom so standard objects are those which are provided by salesforce so if we go to developer edition org and if i log in into this org so once i log in and open any application so there i can show you the standard objects so objects you can see at back end as well as you can see on front end so uh, under setup if you click on this object manager so here you will see list of available standard object so all these objects are provided by salesforce by default right so here you can see type is mentioned so it is showing these are standard object and this is back end now if you want to see objects on front end so you just need to search for particular application so i am searching for sales application and going to open it in new link and uh, here you can see various tabs are available so these are basically known as tab tab if you click on particular tab so it will show you some information so this information is basically related to that particular object right so if you want to access any object from ui so basically you need to create a tab for it and if you click on that tab so you can see the information related to that object right now moving back to the introduction so basically account contact case lead opportunity these all are standard object and beyond that uh, we have lots of standard object so the standard object support default apps like salesforce sales and salesforce service applications we can create custom objects in salesforce as per requirement of the project so if in your project there is a requirement to create custom objects so you can go ahead and uh, as per the requirement you can create those objects right now there there are uh, certain things that you need to know about uh, standard versus custom objects so uh, whenever we use any object so we need to provide three things first one is the label label means name of that object then we have plural label so plural plural label is basically used for tab so if you create a tab for particular object so you will be using plural label and api name is basically unique name for that object so in case of standard object this unique name will be uh, like same as label in most of the cases and for custom it will be having underscore underscore c appended so through this api name you can easily categorize which is standard object and which is custom object now you might be thinking what is the use of this api name so basically whenever you reference your object in uh, another tools like flow or apex programming so there you won't be using label or plural name you will be using the api name of that particular object so for those purpose this uh, api name is useful so again label is the name of that object plural label is used for tab an api name is used for other tools so that they can reference particular object now let's talk about tabs so 
through tabs we can navigate around an application so yesterday i told you two types of navigation one was standard navigation and another was uh, console navigation in both the cases we were navigating around through tabs so if i take you here again so i already told you all these are tabs right and internally they are connected with object so if you want to place your object on ui or front end so that you can do with the help of tab if you have not created any tab so you won't be able to see your object on ui then every tab serves as the starting point for viewing editing and entering information for a specific object when we click a tab the corresponding home page that objects appear appears so basically if you click on the tab so home page of that particular object appears and uh, you you will see all information related to that object so for example if we click the accounts tab the account tab home page appears it gives you access to all of the account records we can view details of a particular record by clicking on it so basically if i go further so here you can see this is classic ui and classic these are the tabs and if we go further so here you can see these are tabs and lightning experience which i already showed you right so till here like we understood object and tabs theoretically and i showed you objects and tab those are available standard right now it's time to uh, create custom object and custom tab as well so if we create custom object and custom tab so those depends on the requirement right so if i go to this excel sheet so here you can see requirement is mentioned so my requirement is i just need to create a object uh, whose name should be student right and uh, that student object will be then having a tab and through that tab i can just open that student object so how i can do that so understand it carefully so if you want to create any object so you just need to click on uh, object manager under the setup and if you go to top right corner so here we have this create object option so if you click on this create object option so it will show you a page where you need to fill some information so here basically we need to provide three things as we discussed in the slides we need to provide label plural label and object name which is basically api name of the object so here i am typing student plural plural label will be students and here api name you can see it is available automatically right then we have description so in in your projects like if you are working on particular project and you your project requires like you need to provide some description related to this object so here you can type so this is a custom object which will store students data right now if we go here so whenever we create any object so uh, through that object creation process we will be able to create one field we will be able to create one field so if we see our excel sheet so here we need to create this registration number so uh, instead of registration number i am saying it as student id right so i will be using student id here so i am writing student id and ids are uh, like generally assigned automatically like whenever you enter in any college or school so you get a unique id so that id is assigned automatically so here we have two types one is text and one is auto number so i am going to use auto number so auto number is basically populated automatically through salesforce you just need to define a convention here like which in which format you want that number so i want s hyphen then curly braces then 0000 right so uh, your first id will be s hyphen 000 and here we need to provide the starting number that i am providing as 1 then these are some optional features that we'll see in later sessions so i'm just skipping this part these are by default checked so i'm skipping these as well and now we just need to focus on the bottom part which is launch new custom tab wizard so here we have an option to launch a tab creation wizard so 
once you filled all the required information for object creation so uh, after the object creation you need to create you need to create tab right so for tab creation you just need to check this checkbox so automatically tab creation page will be appearing and you you need to fill some information and your tab will be created now there can be one question like what if we uncheck this checkbox and save so can we create tab later so answer will be yes if you forget to check this checkbox and you just created object so later on also you can create your tab for that particular object so right now i am just clicking this checkbox and clicking on save so here you will see tab creation page so our object is already created in the back end and now you will see tab creation page on the screen so here it is available so you can see object is already populated as student and uh, here we need to select the tab style so these are the tab styles which are pre defined and you can just select any one and if you want to provide description for your tab so you can enter short description otherwise you just need to click on next now here it is important so profile we have not discussed in detail so profile is basically uh, uh, we need to assign to users and profile decides what user can access or what user cannot so here we have two options apply one tab visibility to all profile or apply a different tab visibility to each profile so right now we are not focusing on profile so i i will just keep first option but in later stage if you want to apply different tab visibility for each profile so you can select second option and here you can see uh, you can select different options right so now i'm going to explain what is the difference between default on default off and tab hidden so if you select default on so it means whenever your tab is created so you can place that tab on this navigation bar if you select default off in that case your tab won't be available in this navigation bar instead you will be able to search your tab here so if you click on app launcher and uh, click on view all so here you can see these are these are all tabs so here your tab will be available if you select default off and uh, third option is tab hidden if you select tab hidden so your tab won't be accessible right so generally we don't prefer this uh, if we are selecting first option but if you are selecting second option then maybe uh, possible like for one profile it is default on for another it is default off and for another it is tab hidden so it depends on the requirement of the project like for which profile you want which access accordingly you will be uh, assigning this tab visibility so right now i am selecting one tab visibility for all profile that is default on now i am just clicking on next so here you can just read this carefully it is asking choose the custom apps for which the new custom tab will be available you may also examine or alter the visibility of tabs from the detail and edit edit page of each custom app so uh, right now like at the time of tab creation you can select in which application this tab will be added and uh, later on if you want to add it to any other custom app so that is also possible right so i am just unchecking all the check boxes and i am going to select this option sales standard underscore underscore lightning sales so in sales application it will be added in other application it won't be added and i am just clicking on save so later in the session i will be creating one application as well that will be custom app so in that custom app i will show you how we can add this tab later on now we just did two things we created student object and we created its tab as well right so here what we can do if you see this object manager so here student details are available and uh, here you can see all the information api name is available which is having underscore underscore c by default singular label is student which is label of your object which is available at top right corner as well and then you have plural label which is students 
right so it will be available on tab okay now i am going to ui or front end so here you can see right now students tab is not available so if you want to apply the changes which we did in the back end if you want to apply those changes on the front end so what you need to do just hit refresh so that your front end will be refreshed and it will pick the latest changes so here uh, okay it is right now not available i am just refreshing it again so sometimes it happens like changes won't reflect immediately but if you refresh couple of times so here you can see this tab is available so students tab is available at the last and if you click so this tab will be opened and uh, right now here we don't have any information so if i select all so nothing will be displayed only one field is available that is student id which we created along with the object creation so this way this is our tab and you can see tab name is in plural it is students so each tab label is plural why so because each tab will be containing lots of information that's why these are in plural so this way you can create your object and you can just uh, create tab and you can place it in particular application now i want to show you how you can search for your object like if you if you just uh, click on home and uh, then you just go to object manager so if you scroll down so your student object will be available here so here you can see student object is available and it is labeled as custom object right uh, date is also shown like uh, when it is created and along with the description and if you don't want to scroll so here we have quick find so any time you can search for your object here and it will be available then just click on this label it will be appearing here and if you want to see the fields so these are some standard fields which are created automatically and student id is auto number uh, so uh, dori asked one question like calendar isn't in plural because calendar is one entity we don't have multiple calendars that's why it is in singular now if i click on home so here you can search for tabs so if you forget to check the checkbox like once you are creating object and if you don't check the checkbox uh, that is for creation of tab and uh, later on after creation of object if you want to create a tab so from here you can do that so you can just click on new and uh, if you click on new so it will ask you to select particular object so from here uh, like right now we don't have any custom object so it is not available but if it is available then you can create right so to repeat everything quickly i am going to create one more object that is instructor so that everything will be repeated so what we need to do first of all we need to go to object manager then click on create then click on custom object now here we need to fill this information so i am writing instructor here i am writing instructors api name will be instructor this time i am not writing description so this is optional here we need to write instructor id okay so what i am going to do i am changing it to id then it will be auto number and here i am writing i hyphen then inside curly braces so you can keep three zeros four zeros five zeros and if you want to see different examples so here you can click on what is this and uh, you will find lots of examples so you can just go through with this page and as per the requirement you can just implement the format and starting number i am keeping as one now this time focus carefully i am not checking this checkbox this time this checkbox is unchecked right so anna is asking uh, like when uh, we are creating objects so when to use uh, this as type text so uh, anna like uh, uh, at the time of this third object creation i will show you like how we can select text right so don't worry i will be covering each and everything step by step 
So right now we are just covering auto number. And this time I am unchecking this checkbox. So knowingly I am unchecking. But in projects you can check because if you want to create tabs simultaneously with object creation, so you can just check. But even if uh, you uncheck, so you should know the process. So I'm just clicking on save. So you can see only object is created, right? If I go to home and uh, click on tabs, so I won't be able to see any tab for instructor because I didn't create selecting instructor as object. So here it is available. Then I need to select the tab style so I can select any one. Then I need to click on next. And this I already explained, so I'm just uh, clicking on next. And uh, from next page, I will be selecting one application. So I'm unchecking all. And again, I'm going to select sales application. And I'm clicking on save. So this way, if you uncheck that checkbox and later you want to create tab for your object, so you can do. And uh, we have other options as well, like web tab, visual force, lightning component, lightning page. So this we will be covering later on. Okay, so now I hope you understand uh, tab creation process in two different ways, right? Now, if I go to front end, so here you can see after student, instructor tab will be available once I refresh. So I'm just refreshing so that I can see the tabs. And uh, uh, all the questions I will be uh, picking at the end. So if you have questions, so you can note down. So at the end, I will be picking all the questions. So here you can see uh, we have uh, instructors tab. And uh, if, if I click on all, so right now there is no data. So that's why it is blank. So till now we understood creation of object and creation of tab. So I hope you understand the difference between standard object and custom object, standard tab and uh, custom tab and uh, how we can create custom object and custom tab, right? And basis on that, if you go to this exercise, so what you need to do, you need to create student custom object, then you will be creating registration number. So this name uh, I just changed, so you can just uh, use it as student ID, then you will be creating a tab. Then third step is for field creation. So I'm going to uh, tell you how we can create field. Then we will be creating app, adding that tab to app. So after that, I just uh, explained number eight and nine as well, right? So after this session, whenever you get time, so uh, maybe through recording, you can implement this or if you understood, so at your own, you can try. And whenever you get stuck, you can just uh, review the recording, right? So this way it will help you to practice along with me. Now, moving forward, Next, we need to understand about fields. So as I already told you with that Excel sheet, so in Excel, whatever headings we have, those are basically known as fields, right? So column heading are known as fields in Salesforce. So a field is like a database column. There are various data types available in Salesforce to create fields. So we can create different type of fields. By entering values in fields, we create a record in Salesforce. Right, so these are the data types which are available to create field. So whenever we create new fields, so you will see all these data types available along with the description. So you don't need to memorize, uh, you just need to click on new and then uh, with every data type, there will be a description available. So along with that, uh, like you can understand uh, which type you need to select, right? So before moving to records, let's create couple of fields. So now I'm going to create this name field. So I just want to store student name. So what I need to do, I just need to go to object manager. So whenever uh, you need to create something, so everything you will be creating on the backend. So you, you need to click on object manager, then here you will search for student object. Then you just need to open it. Then you need to click on fields and relationships. So here 
uh, I'm just going to click on new. So here you can see all the data types are, are available along with the description, right? All the data types are available along with the description. And if you want to store name, so I will select text, right? So text will be storing all the alphabets. So I, I am going to select text and we have five different types of uh, text data type. So description is available along according to that you will be creating fields, right? So I'm going to create this first field under student object. So here again, you can see we need to provide this information. So label will be name then you can provide some length so let's say 100 uh, length 100 means 100 uh, alphabets can be there in the name then field name is populated automatically this is the api name so here you can see this i is indicating help text so it says the field name is an internal reference and is used for integration purpose such as custom link custom as controls and the api be careful when changing the field name as it may affect existing integrations so basically this field name will be known as API name, right? So it is unique and if it is referenced somewhere, so you won't be able to modify this. Okay, so here uh, now I, uh, if, you, if you want to give some description like this field will store student name. And if you want to provide some help text, like on UI, if you want to show uh, this kind of uh, symbol, right? So here you can write, please enter student name, right? Now we have required, if you check this checkbox, so uh, every time, whenever you will be creating a new record, so always you need to provide name, it will be required. And if you want to have unique name, like, uh, under particular object, if you have 10 records, right, 10 rows, if you have, so in 10 rows, that name will be unique if you check this checkbox. And external ID is used for integration purpose. So right now I'm just skipping it. And in Salesforce, we have reports. So in if you want to reference this field in reports, so you can just check this checkbox. And if you want to provide some default value, so here you can type. So every time, whenever you will be creating new information, new record, so th this default value will be populated. For text, you just need to write it in double quotes, right? Then I'm just clicking on next. So here you can see, again, we have profile thing. So profile we will understand later in detail, but here you can just uh, uh, check this checkbox so that this field will be available for all profile user, right? So I am knowingly saying this, like we have not understood profile yet and it will take a, a separate session to understand profile. So just ignore and uh, uh, blindly check this checkbox so that this field will be visible for all the profiles. I just clicked on next. Now this is important, add to page layout. So if we uh, go here and if I open accounts and uh, click on this record and go to details so this is basically known as page layout under details whatever we see is known as page layout so here what it is asking do you want to add this field to the page layout right so if you check this checkbox it will be added automatically if you uncheck then it immediately it won't be available but later on you will be able to add it so right now I'm leaving it as is and just clicking on save. So here uh, you can see a field is created, which is name underscore underscore C and it is custom. That field is created by you. So that will be custom and it will be having underscore underscore C in the API name. And other fields which are not having underscore underscore C, they will be known as standard. Now moving to front end, and I'm going to refresh the page. And I will be jumping to students tab so that I can create.
so i i am just jumping to students tab so that i can create a new record so uh, for the first time uh, like in this session we are going to create a record right so before creating record let's understand what record is so records are the rows in object which are uniquely identified by their ids so in salesforce each record will be having particular id we can create records by entering values in fields available in an object so what we did first we created object then we created tab so that we can locate that uh, object on ui then we created one field and if we provide some value in that field so that through that information we will be able to create a record and uh, that record will be having an id that will be unique right so this way we can create any number of records in salesforce under particular object then uh, we can create edit view and delete a record in salesforce right so this is the ui how it looks like so it is for account object then this is the detail page like if you view so this way your information will be available and this is the detail page in lightning experience right and this is the list view where uh, you see all the information where uh, you will be having alphabets as well according to this you can filter out so this is basically classic view and this is lightning view now before jumping to apps uh, let's create new record so if i click on new so here you will see fields so student id is available which is auto number you won't be able to fill information here and uh, here under name you can provide the information so here i am writing information as sanjay gupta and i am just clicking on save so th through this process like when i clicked on new and uh, i just provided information so through this process i just created a record this is a record and this is the page layout of this record here you can see student id is available which is s0001 and this is the name and this is help text please enter student name right and if i click on this pencil so this uh, ui will convert into edit mode so student id owner last modified by and created by these are auto populated field and name you can edit and you can provide any other name here so if you want to change it you can change and save it now if you click on this tab so here you will see one record if you click on all so like recently viewed will show you the recently viewed records only and if you want to see all records through that you can see so right now we have only one record it is visible here if you want to create one more so let's say i am creating one more record so this way this is s002 this is our second record right now if i click on the tabs so you will see two records now so this way these rows are known as records okay so if you have fields created then only you will be able to create records because in fields you will be filling some information so if i open record so student id is one field owner is another field name is third field last modified by is another field so a uh, few fields are standard and few are custom so a uh, combination you can use to create records right and i am seeing in the chat like uh, people are uh, answering each other's question so this is good practice because while explaining everything uh, or demoing things i can't answer uh, whatever is available in chat so if you know the answer you can try to answer otherwise uh, once uh, everything is uh, com completely demonstrated then i will pick all the questions okay so now what we need to do we just need to understand last last step that is app creation so we created object we created tab we created fields and we created records now we need to create app so let's first understand what actually app is so an app is a container for all the objects tabs and other functionality it is similar to a programming project where we keep all our code files in salesforce app consists simply of a name a logo and an ordered set of tabs right so all the tabs you can place under particular app so this way you will see classic applications 
like uh, you just need to click on menu and then you will see applications and this way you will see app launcher in lightning experience so now we are going to create application as well so for that you need to click on home and here you can type apps sorry you need to type app manager and if you click on app manager so here you will find this option new lightning app so you just need to click here and here you will be filling all the information so i'm just creating app with name as sanjay gupta tech school so here you can see this is developer name so this is unique name which is api name so somewhere like in object creation and field creation it was field name or object name which was also api name developer name is also api name so you can uh, see used by the api and managed packages uh, this name must be unique across all apps right if you want to provide some description so you can then if you want to upload any picture for branding purpose so you can do that so here i am adding my picture so this way you can upload any picture as per your choice and then you need to click on next okay now this is important to understand so here uh, you can see so yesterday i told you we have two types of navigation standard and console so this is the location through which you can decide which type of navigation you want in your application right so when you will be practicing so what you can do you can just uh, create two applications one uh, that will be having standard navigation and another that will be having console navigation right so what you can do I Uh, uh one time you can select standard navigation and another time you can select console navigation okay there, there was some network issue so uh, that's why uh, video uh, was paused so i am just selecting standard navigation and then supported form factor means like for which device you are uh, going to create your application so we have three options accordingly you can uh, then setup experience uh, you want full setup or you just need service setup so accordingly you can select and uh, personal personal sorry personalization settings so you can disable end user personalization of nav items in this app or disable temporary tabs for items outside of this app so if you want to disable then you can just check box check this these check boxes so now i just need to click on next so here you can see we can add utility item so at the bottom you can see uh, in your application like if you if i take you here and uh, if if we see so at the bottom if you want to have any uh, action associated at the bottom of this application so that you can do through this utility item so here i am going to add this chatter feed right so i just added one utility utility item so it is standard if you have created any custom like uh, lightning component or flow so you can add them as well then i am clicking on next so this is important like here we need to add navigation items so if you remember we created two tabs one is student so i am adding that and one we created instructor so i am adding that as well so this way at the time of app creation you can add tabs and if you have created your app first then you are creating object and tab then also you can just uh, add your tabs so i will show you that as well once application is created then you need to select user profile so here you need to select system admin profile so right now your user is having system admin profile so it is important to uh, select this profile right so whenever you are using sorry whenever you are creating this application so uh, you you just need to Uh, select system administrator profile so that you can access the application 
So sometimes beginners just miss this step. That's why I'm focusing more on this step. So whenever you are on the step, so just select system admin profile. If it is selected, then only you will be able to view your application. So I am just clicking on save and finish. So here, if we scroll, so here you can see app is available. Right now, if you want to launch this app from the UI, so uh, you just need to refresh the page. And uh, through that app launcher, you will be able to view your application. Okay, I, I just saw one question like standard and console navigation. So I am going to repeat that again. So here, uh, if I click on app launcher, so I have view all option. So if I click on view all, so here you can see this application is available. And if I click on this application, so it will be opened and it will show you two tabs. So app is loading. So you will see two tabs on the UI. So here you can see app name is available. If it is long, so uh, three dots will be available. If you hover on uh, three dots, you will see the complete name as a tool tip. Then here you can see students tab is available and st instructor tab is available. So one more thing that you need to understand, uh, if we have created object in uh, Salesforce, so that object can be placed uh, as a tab on more than one applications, right? So same tab is available here in this application, Sanjay Gupta Tech School. And another, like in sales application also, this tab was available. And we created records in sales application, still they are available here in this application. Right. So objects can be accessed. Objects and tab can be accessed with uh, different applications, but you can restrict their access on uh, basis of user. Right. So for that, we need to control the profiles that we'll be learning later on. So this way, I just demonstrated you complete process, like how we can create custom application and uh, how uh, we can add tabs. Now I'm going to explain once again, like what is standard and console navigation. So I'm going to edit this app. So now if you want to change something, you can just click on this drop down and select edit. So your app manager will be opened and whatever settings you have provided. So those settings you will be able to modify. So it is being opened, so it is taking a little bit time. So once it is loaded, so I will be explaining. Okay, uh, I think today uh, internet is a little bit slow uh, uh, at this time. So uh, sorry for inconvenience uh, in seeing screen. So maybe you can refresh your page once, so it will improve. So I'm just refreshing the page so that I can see the builder of app. Okay, in the meantime, uh, let me take some questions. So, so there is one question, uh, create object through schema builder. So that we'll be doing uh, in one of the session.
and uh, we have one question what is the purpose of start with wall sound checkbox so let me show you that uh, actually it is taking time so let me just open the setup once again in new tab okay now this builder is loading okay so we are here if if i go to object manager and click on create and uh, click on custom object so here uh, you can see if if your uh, label or plural label is starting with wall sound so it is basically applying the rule for wall and consonant right so if it is starting with wall sound so accordingly your plural label will be there so uh, this way you just need to uh, take care of this uh, i saw one question which is related to external id unique id and api name so external id is basically used for integration purpose so whenever you create a field so at the time of field creation you will see uh, like uh, external external id checkbox so it is for that unique id is basically for records so if i take you here and if i open particular record so in the url you can see this is the id of record so this is unique id right and if we talk about api name so if we go here and uh, if i open uh, particular object so this is basically api name unique name of particular object or field uh, what is front end so this is basically front end where you are seeing the ui and other information like tab uh, records and this is basically backend right now our this uh, this uh, lightning app builder is loaded so if i take you here okay here uh, standard and uh, custom sorry standard and console navigations are not available okay yeah here it is available app options so if you see here navigation style so in yesterday's session i explained you we have two types of navigation in uh, application one is standard navigation and another is console navigation so uh, standard navigation is like this you will be having all the tabs together at top and if you select console navigation so in that case you will be having a drop down so if i open that application so from here i just need to select uh, let's say i am opening service console in new tab so this is basically your console navigation so if you want this type of uh, navigation style so in that case you will be selecting console navigation so there is one question so i uh, like everything i have uh, covered in this session which uh, i was planned so uh, i just covered how to create object i covered how to create a tab then field then uh, how to create records and how we can create application so uh, those who understood everything so they can just focus on the sheet and uh, like uh, i just created one field but you need to create uh, lots of fields so what i will be doing i will be creating these these fields uh, uh, at my own and uh, uh, make sure you also create everything whatever is listed here so that we will be on same page and whenever i will be explaining something to you so you will be having everything implemented in your org as well right so uh, this is all about today's session now if you have any questions so you can ask those questions right and if you if you don't have any questions so you can just uh, leave and uh, uh, thank you for joining today's session now uh, like in this 30 minutes i will try to answer as many questions as i can right so now you can just paste your uh, question uh, fresh so i'm just trying to answer question so uh, can you share word file excel you see so uh, jigna uh, this is available with uh, video description so you can get it from there uh, so mary there is two console applications sales and service 
if you want to create more you can right how to give front end to user so for front end you just need to click on app launcher and from there you can just select particular application then so uh, suraj is asking what is the best practice to create things so first you will be creating object then you will be creating tab then you will be creating fields then you will be creating uh, application where you can add your object so app you basically you create once so for all tab or objects app will be one and there you can add your tabs and last step will be record creation okay sumit is asking can we create new tab style so i am not sure like uh, i don't think we can create uh, i have never created so i will figure it out how can we create custom object from spreadsheet so we created custom object through that button if you if you see uh, the button uh, here under object manager so here we have this button create object from spreadsheet so basically in spreadsheet you need to create uh column headings as field and then you need to fill the information and then uh, you can just import that excel sheet with this button right so uh, this this uh, button will ask you to select particular sheet and uh, through that excel sheet you will be able to create object then there is one question when uh, so this exercise sheet and excel sheet is available in videos description so difference between lightning page so this is not lightning page or connected page it is lightning app and connected app so lightning app we created in this org if you want to connect this app with any other application so for that we will be using connected app uh mary advantage between standard and console navigation i already explained yesterday so uh, let me explain it quickly again so if you see here so in in this uh, standard navigation if you open particular tab and if you switch to another tab so previous tab information will be disappeared and new tab information will be available but if you go to this uh, console navigation and if you open particular record for particular object so it will be available uh, as a separate tab then if you open any other object and its record so it will be available side by side so this is the benefit of console navigation like you can have multiple records opened simultaneously so sumit how many standard objects so i showed you object manager so you can just see the list of uh, objects there and you can count so interview question we will discuss later on and in excel sheet you can see i just pasted a link of playlist where interview questions are available yes object creation is possible through metadata xml file yeah suraj uh, i don't remember exact limitation so uh, for that you can just search for official document of salesforce like is there any limitation i think for sure there should be a limitation so user personal personalization setting means uh, like if if you uh, don't want to allow uh, uh, some settings in the application like Uh, we have this uh, edit option where we can add more tabs directly without going to app manager so these kind of settings if you want to uh, like disable then you can do that with that and please ask uh, specific questions related to this session only uh, people are asking other question like explain schema builder interview question so uh, i just already explained you the agenda for today's session so please ask relevant questions so that i can pick as many questions if you if you ask uh, un 
wanted question so it will be a problem for me so please maintain decorum because these are uh, these sessions are not for fun i am uh, investing my time so please take care of this yeah shivani i will be explaining uh, these standard objects in uh, uh, sessions so uh, today i just uh, explained like uh, how we can create but these standard objects we will be discussing later in the sessions yeah so if if you want to know the number of object uh, like how how much how many numbers of objects we can create so you can just search official document so i think there uh, as per licenses you can find the limit and if you want to increase the limit so uh, that options may be available there so you can find uh is there any option to enable or hide standard ob no standard objects are visible by default there is no process to hide them so search bar is basically to search particular record so if you want to search any record you can just type that information console objects console object is not available console navigation is available so it is part and um, like if you are using free version it is available if you are paying it is also available relationship we will be discussing in later session number of session will be four because uh, many people won't be available on friday that's why i just kept monday to thursday yeah external id is basically used for integration purpose so if you connect your salesforce org with any other external system then uh, you can mark a field as external id so that it can receive data from there record id is not known as external id record id is separate external id is separate how to give different login so this i explained in uh, yesterday's session when we created users uh, these notes won't be available everything is recorded you can anytime watch the recording thank you gaurav Uh, can we convert standard object to console application no no we cannot convert standard application to console navigation uh, so it it uh, you need to decide at the time of its creation no we cannot create sandbox similar to free developer org it it is paid a uh, trail mix for admin certification is available on trailhead website you can just get it from there console application is free in this developer org so uh, search bar i will be explaining tomorrow uh, please remind me tomorrow so pratik new features like uh, there are many documentation i think this is a funny question in this session i already told you ask relevant question why you are asking uh, these, these questions yeah ex external id is basically used for integration purpose so we can create custom objects in uh, uh, like uh, three ways one uh, i already demoed you another is through excel spreadsheet and third is through schema builder that we'll see later on yeah record id or unique id yeah you can say both are same so unique id is nothing you can say record id is basically unique uh, we cannot convert standard navigation to console and vice versa once you created standard it will be standard if you created console it will be console yeah you can get console navigation for custom objects so it is for app level not for object level so uh, shubham basically there are two options for setup if you need full setup you can uh, select first option if you want service setup you can select second option personalization means uh, on top right corner you will find a pencil icon so if you want to disable that you can just uh, uncheck sorry you can check that check box uh, need to know how to start trailhead so uh, that may be uh, in upcoming session i will explain yeah tab hidden is basically if you uh, want to create a tab and you don't want your user to access that tab 
So I, I showed you two options, one tab visibility for all profile and different tab visibility for all profile. So for particular profile, if you want to hide the tab, so you can just select tab hidden. And if you want to show, we have two option tab, uh, like visibility default on and default off. Default on means it will be available on navigation bar. Off means it will be available under app launcher. So Mary is asking different login will have different objects access. Yes, it depends on the profile. So that we will be discussing in the profile and permission set section. So security is having uh, different uh, sessions. So we will be discussing that later on. So I think some questions are repeating now. Can we create custom objects same as a uh, standard object? So their label can be same, but API name should be unique. Uh, integration won't be part of our uh, like bootcamp. So if you want to create a uh, object, like schema builder is another option. If you want to create, uh, this is an added option. So there through UI, you can just create object. Console navigation is free. I just already answered Harshita. It is free for developer edition. Or if you are using paid version, then you already are paying. So you don't, to, you don't need to pay for uh, navigation. Record ID is not external ID. I already explained external ID is separate, which is for integration purpose. Record ID is uh, available with particular record, which is available in the URL. Uh, yes, we can. Uh, so Rituraj, while creating app, I just selected a profile. So if you don't select particular profile, so that app will be hidden with that user. So profile can control app access. Thank you, MSD. So uh, Kuldeep Schema Builder has a separate session. Don't ask this question now. We will be discussing later on. That's why I provided you the Excel sheet. Please go through that. Ask relevant questions so that I can answer as many questions as I can. To make exercises from user profile, we must create user with Salesforce license. Yes. Yes, Mary. Yeah, record ID is known as record ID is not known as unique ID. Record ID is basically unique. Should be unique. Uh, Sonu, I didn't get your question like is record ID have a limit? So I didn't get this question. Yes, Vidya Shri. So in SQL, basically we create table, field, uh, uh, columns, and uh, uh, records through commands. Here we just uh, created them from UI. So that's why it is very easy. Thank you, Mary. So Anna, uh, while creating custom objects, so there are four, four standard fields available. One is owner, one is created by, one is last modified by, and one is the field that is auto number that we created at the time of object creation. So these four fields are standard at the time of object creation. So once your object is created, if you there, you can find all those. Okay, so I think I am able to answer all the questions. So uh, thank you so much for joining this session. Recording will be available with you and I will be scheduling a tomorrow's session and link will be available in the Excel sheet. Thank you so much for your love and support.